Hello everybody, Sandeep here again. Today we are going to see certain things about the cash flow management for a construction project or any kind of projects. For that matter, any business, it requires certain amount of cash flow. It requires money, it requires fundraising, it requires angel funding, investor funding, something to improve the cash flow. Cash is just like a blood inside the body. If the blood is flowing properly, then everything works. If the blood is not flowing, nothing works. There would be brain hemorrhage. The company will have literally the earthquake and the company will deteriorate in a big way. As an owner of the company, you don't want that. So what to do? In this particular video, we are going to see certain key performance index of a building, how to run a business by improvising the cash flow. So let's get started. So as I said initially that the cash is just like a blood inside the body. Now let us understand blood. How does it work? It basically pumps through the heart. If you see that any particular human being, he or she gets born inside the mother's womb. Initially, it starts with just the heart. Slowly, 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 the other organs develops. Similarly, whenever you wanted to start any startup company, you should have less number of departments, less number of people, maximum amount of governance. In today's AI world, you can easily manage certain simple, simple tasks in completely different way, in a completely automated way through certain systems like for example CRM softwares, for example uh, automated softwares, certain excel sheets, uh, certain uh, uh, you know ERP softwares or a SAP softwares. ERP and SOF is, SAP is comparatively very costly so don't go ahead with that. I would suggest initially to go with the small little softwares. For example, Microsoft Teams or Bitrix or Zoho projects and many, many other simple tools are available in the industry so that you can start this particular business. Now, the major funda is least amount of people, least amount of departments, maximum should be the governments. Slowly, slowly, whenever your cash flow, whenever the blood inside the body develops, automatically the organs starts developing. Similarly, whenever the cash flow is getting higher, you can start adding different different departments. You can change over the previously soft, previously opted software for the better software where the growth of the software can be ensured. At the same time, you can recruit right people at the right departments. But the increment should be Proportionately, for example, <clears throat> if the cash flow is increased 30%, 40% or maybe 5%, 10%, depending upon that only the salaries of the people, number of people and all other things need to be changed and improved. Every time there should be the, the AB analysis. What is AB analysis? Whether this is working, whether that is working. Because there is nothing like something point A to point B, the straight line direction. Every department goes through certain AB analysis, the checks going through the positive, negative and certain like waveform from one point to the another. You need to understand that and you need to recruit the right people to make sure that that kind of analysis of improvement or improvising is becoming very, very fundamentally strong and robust. Many times what happens is, particularly in India and many places in abroad also for that sake, you will see that any company starts and ends. So many people they say that company is there in the initial phase. Later on the company grows and it goes to the stagnance level and then it diminishes. So it is just like graph will be going up and coming down. I don't agree with that. Generally, the life of the company and the life of the person should not be correlated. You don't start any company for one generation. You see that what are the cracks, what are the 
ground problems are there in the industry, society and for the mankind and you really seriously wanting to change certain things. That's why you start something. And company life should be comparatively quite, quite bigger than the person's life. At least the attitude should be like that. If you do not have that attitude, then you are doing a big mistake. First of all, the attitude of yours and your company should be established in such a way that the com you even if you are not no, no more, you know, the people will take the company to the different level. For example, Larson and Tubro. Who is Larson? Who is Tubro? They are no more now. Still, the company is growing because of the systems, protocol and certain disciplines. They have developed certain systems, protocol and discipline in such a big way, in such a robust way that, you know, the company financials, company credentials and the company portfolio is growing every semester, every year, every quarter. What I am trying to tell you <laughs> is develop the system in such a way that it is robust. Nowadays, many people, they just start the startup, just startup India, startup India. It has become like a fame. It is, yes, we require so many startup. There is absolutely no argument in that. But at the same time, whenever you start any company, just to get the seed investment, angel investment, and you get the IPO, that is the end. I got my money back, whatever I invested. Now I'll move into the next IPO or next startup. That is the stupid way of looking at it. Why? Because it is not good for the nation, not good for you also. Let's say for example, current certain startups, it has, I read some articles that minimum, maximum 10% of the startups are also not becoming the unicorn. And they are dying within just first five years. What is this? Because you do not have that kind of vision, that kind of commitment to what you have really seriously started to grow your business from smaller level to the bigger level. So whenever you are starting the startup, it is your own company. It is your own idea. It is you, your life that you are putting your time, the precious time for something that you want to start. So, your life is limited. The company life should be as much as possible, unlimited. As much genuinely possible should be quite higher than just one's life. Second thing is, whenever you start any company, you are having so many problems initially. Later on, those problems you need to see that how you can grow up. The solutions bigger than the problems. Automation, taking the right key people, Making sure that the KPIs are perfect. What is KPI? It's key performance index, cash flow ratio, finance ratio. These are very, very important. As I told you, the company finances, the company credentials, those are very important. Company finances is different. Company credentials are different. And those are closely related to each other also. Generally, if you say any company, there are only two things are there. One thing is the innovation and second thing is marketing. Innovation means what are the new things are there? What you have certain things better than others? What you are having certain unique thing which you can offer to the society, to the mankind, to the people. And second thing is the marketing. Marketing means, yes, this word is little mollified, but I'll tell you marketing means awareness, giving whatever the company is having, spread it to the world. That is basically the marketing. You, take, you just name it, marketing, branding, prom positioning, promoting, sales, all these things comes into that. Many times people say that marketing is a number game. To a certain extent it is true, but it is not the real sense true. There are so many other things are also there. For example, how does it make, because if you change one life, if you change one person's perspective of looking at it, 
automatically you will see that there are a lot of changes that are happening and the same person brings 10 customers to you. Similarly, in the construction industry and in real estate industry, many other industries, you will see that this customer, if you are going, you know, just the name is enough, that's it. So, we require those kind of startup that, you know, just the name, that's it. Larson and Tubro, Tata, there are so many companies are there in India, which they have developed the systems. You take, for example, TCS, Infosys, Wipro. There are so many people who are there in India who have developed their systems fundamentally so strong. They are really becoming the booster to the nation, to the mankind, to the people. Similarly, when you start something, you should have that kind of sense. It might be less cash flow, less profit, less money. It might be lesser risk. Your growth ratio is comparatively limited initially. It doesn't matter. If you take the example of the nature, you put some shrubs, the seeds, next, within within few hours or maybe some ten shrubs are there, within just some time it will start growing. Within one or two days, dhania for example, it will start growing in the next couple of days. There are certain trees, it takes huge amount of time to, to grow. But the whenever it grows, it grows like anything. Like big banyan tree, you take the teak wood. But it grows magnificently. Wow, what is a tree? What is this beautiful tree alone? Similarly, yes, the tree has also, also, also got the life that it will diminish. But at least as much as time, it will give the benefit to all other people. It will give the shadow. It will give the comfort to the people. At least your nature you should build in such a way that it gives you that kind of happiness. Yes, you have built up something, something which is great. Coming to the cash flow, what is cash flow is basically I told you about the blood. If the blood is there in only in the head, in the brain, you will have the brain hemorrhage. Maximum blood in the brain, very less amount of brain in the brain, also it creates a problem. So it has to be flowed particularly based on the requirement of a particular body organ. Similarly, in the company, you should create certain systems, fundamentals in such a way that the money is flowing fluently, properly at the right place at the right time. Otherwise, you are inviting a big problem in the long run. Second thing is for body you require the exercising. Similarly, there are so many exercises you require to do it when it comes to the company finances. Exercising in terms of the auditing, internal auditing, external auditing, analyzing the key parameters, KPI index, cash flow ratios, CAGR, many other things. Few more aspects are there which are related to the cash flow management. One thing is, if you are having huge amount of cash investment, to see that the how the building sustains for a long run, how you are giving that kind of fruits to the company back in the long run. Now, to facilitate this, I would like to give you a certain example. If you are an industrialist and if you feel that actually really seriously the God is really helping you out, Ishwar say the, from the God, if you are getting a lot of signals that, you know, the benefits that in being an industrialist, you are growing, you are feeling happy, you are getting a lot of success, so then you are an industrialist. But whenever you are from the investor to the industrialist, when you start moving, you will see that some problems are there, some industry is not, you know, it is paining, it is always hitting your head, a lot of problems, chaos is happening, then you are not an industrialist. Okay, so this is the signal of the God, that also you need to sense to start something. Whenever you want to invest something, try to identify that, who are you? What is the purpose of your life from the business point of view, from the monetary point of view, to give certain things to the back to the people, to the uh, humanity. 
So in this video, we have discussed about finance management regarding the startup companies related to how the growth one should think and achieve. If you really wanted to improve these things inside your company, being an entrepreneur, just ping us on the WhatsApp number given in the description box below. We will be there just one click away and will help you in such a way that minimum 10x would be the margins that you will have. And you will see that huge amount of growth that would be assured for a long run. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.